The outbreak and stay-at-home order is certainly hard on all of us, but for people in recovery, it could mean losing a lifeline. Alcoholics and addicts who rely on in-person 12-step meetings, right, now forced to find support in new ways. CBS 13's Laura Haefeli is live with the challenge of staying sober through a pandemic. Laura. Yeah, listen, this will all be over eventually, but for now, like you said, if you're missing those group meetings, that face-to-face -face contact, remember, you do have options. Recovery is a long road and worth the journey, but counselors at New Dawn Treatment Center say coronavirus has added an unexpected speed bump. Addiction and alcoholism is a dangerous, dangerous disease. So people needing help and treatment during this time, it doesn't just stop because the world is in crisis. In fact, counselors say more people are asking for help. We do have a high increase of intakes coming in now and it's going up. No matter what stage of recovery you're in, keep this in mind. Social distancing doesn't mean social isolation. You can still connect. Just because you can't go to Starbucks and meet with your sober buddies or something that creates your day and keeping you in line and on track with your sobriety, it's really important that people are taught to still reach out. And technology has been a huge help. Attending virtual virtual meetings via Zoom or finding a recovery podcast that you like to listen to. But if you don't have regular access to technology, it's just finding your niche and what you enjoy during the day. A lot of times boredom is definitely a trigger to um, for someone to abuse substances. So try to stay calm, busy and remember this too shall pass. The new Dawn treatment centers have been very careful with both their clients and their staff, checking everybody's temperatures on a daily basis, even going as far as to check our crew's temperatures before we walked in.